Hey, hi, hello everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites. Hey, folks, I am so happy to be back here with you today. Now, lately, we have been enjoying some roguelite FPS games. We've had, boy, Witchfire. We have had Battle Shapers. And had a glorious run in Battle Shapers the other day, in case you missed that. Finally toppled a boss for the first time. And some of you showed up in the comments and said, hey, you know, this, this game looks pretty neat. By the way, what do you think of that other game that's got a similar look and feel called RoboQuest? And I thought, man, you know what? I like RoboQuest, and this is a great reminder to go back and play some RoboQuest because I'll tell you what, it's been a minute. I played this game early on when it was into its early access period, and it had shown up on Game Pass. And now, it's out in its 1.0 version. And I thought, you know what? Let's jump in. Let's see what we can see. Let's do it. So, what we have here is a fun roguelite FPS game. Chock full of meta progression and all kinds of ways that you can better yourself overall. so that you're better off against the bad guys, right? That's what it's all about. And I'll tell you, it's fast paced, it's fun. We're gonna level up along the way, open up random perks. You know, I like those perks. All right, so let's grab this and let's pick a level up here. I just now opened up a new capability where I get three choices from perks instead of just two. Gathering a healing cell generates one point for two second max. Each point increases all damage and armor. Every four shots increases your next weapon shot damage by 60%. Wow. I like that. Let's do that. Uh, there are some really interesting mobility options in the game where you can ride on these rails. A little bit of Jet Set Radio nostalgia there, right? Can you believe that announcement from Sega recently? We're getting another Jet Set Radio, folks. And if that wasn't your thing, we're also getting another Golden Axe. Which, look, I'm just gonna say that there was a Golden Axe game that came out years ago and I'm gonna take a leap and say that maybe I played it on the PS4 I think I don't think it was on the 360 or the Xbox uh, I think it was the PS4 and you know what it was bad so the brief glimpse that they gave us at this one looked interesting I have very high hopes. I still remember opening up the Sega Genesis that Christmas with my brother. And then unwrapping many games. Our parents went a little nuts that year. Golden Axe, Altered Beast. Mystic Defender, Shinobi. Oh man, what a what a game! Shinobi, right? They're remaking that one too. So very exciting. Sorry for the aside. You know what? I'm not sorry for the aside. We have lots of asides. If you like asides, maybe you should decide to hang out here a little bit more often because oh, we just get into all kinds of topics when we're playing roguelikes and roguelites, don't we? 
Cheers to you, by the way. Hope you've got something good in your cup today. Hmm. I am still very much enjoying the Beanbox coffee advent calendar that my wife picked up for me. I'm going to hold off on those. Let's see what we got here. Beluga Cannon. Level 3, plus 20% damage, plus 25% range. Projectiles are explosive, deals cryo damage. Oh, yeah, let's... Let's deal some cryo damage. That sounds pretty good. We'll get some health back, and we are going to keep moving on here. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, yeah. It's like a little snowball gun, which seems very appropriate for the time of year, doesn't it? Wherever you are, I hope, unless you really, really like it, I hope you are not dealing with snow just yet. I feel like we... Uh, Still need a little bit of time, just to just a little bit of time to to slowly get into it, right? Get used to the cold, and then they can drop all the white shit, right? Um, yeah, you know, last year, I, I'm gonna say the snowfall was more mild in my area. You know, didn't have to get out there and utilize the snowblower very often and uh that was a welcome change it really was my wife and i split up the outdoor chores so in the warmer months she actually does the lawn she she likes mowing the lawn so we uh we, we take that and we run with that you don't argue with that okay um and so then in exchange I take the driveway. And it's it's usually a pretty good deal. Uh, last year, it was a mega deal. Really was. Let's grab a perk here. Tempo Shot has 100% auto critical chance. Okay. Increases weapon damage by 10% or increases reload speed by 15%. Oh, you know what? I like that. I like that, especially with this snowball gun. Seems like it does take a little bit longer to reload. And movement speed, never a bad thing. Okay. If I could actually hit the guys, that would be great. We gotta take this guy out. Um, now I do have a special that's on a cooldown. It's a shield. And... When I remember to use it, it's pretty effective. Now you kind of get uh, temporary invulnerability. All right. Yeah, I'm liking this snowball cannon quite a bit. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what kind of coffee I'm drinking in a moment go in for another sip as soon as we clear out this room. Okay. All right, let's uh let's let's grab a sip, shall we? Let's do it. Hmm. So I am drinking a cup called Snow Joe Blend, and this is from Tony's Coffee out of Bellingham, Washington. And we've got notes of chocolate ganache and caramel turtle. And I added just a splash, just a small splash of oat milk for the creaminess. And I think sometimes with these cups, it helps bring out some of the other flavors. The other day, we had uh, one of our community members comment, and that person is a barista, which I thought was awesome. We're glad you're here with us. And I commented back asking about favorite drinks and some of the more exotic drinks. Waiting to hear back. I always like being able to get into coffee talk. All right. Well, if you've hung out here before, you know that the goat loves jump puzzles. Uh, Power Cell or Blunderbuzz, level three. 
20% damage. Projectiles bounce. Plus 10% damage, but plus 10% shot energy cost. Um, oh. This looks even better. You know what? Let's try this. Yeah, that, uh, that looks pretty great. All right. I like how they have marked the map with that fog of war so that you don't get lost over and over again. Because again, if you've hung out here before, you know that the goat gets lost. Uh, we had a wonderful time with Returnal. But my goodness, did the goat get lost a lot in that one. If you know, you know. And some of you do know. All right, let's go ahead and get this pawn card. I'm not sure what those do, if they're just collectibles or if they serve some other kind of purpose. I'm actually gonna go clear some of the guys from this angle first. And then we're gonna pop our shield and get in there a little bit closer. All right, let's do it. Take this guy out if we can. Perfect. Grab the health. Now, I've been told that you can jump on enemies' foreheads as well. And I haven't tried that yet, because I'm usually further away with the types of guns I have. Um, but I, I think that should be attempted at some point to uh, prove that that is a possibility. I wish we could dismantle those for uh, wrenches, which are the meta progression currency that we get along the way. All right. Had some fun uh, Friday night with a couple of my buddies that I'm still in touch with from high school. I've known them for a long time. We'll get together and game every once in a while. I think we're going this way? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it looks like we haven't gone down that way yet. Here we go. Uh, we played a game called Lethal Company. Have you heard of Lethal Company? Um, this is an interesting game. It's out in early access, and I, I would say they're at a point where it is it is very early access. Um, let's see if we can take this guy out real quick and not get hit by the beam. Gonna fire off our shield. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Area discovered hidden sanctuary. What is this? Pick up javelin. Class unlocked. Ranger. Wow. Okay. So there's different classes too. Give swim trunks. Oh, I. We don't have them. <laughs> we. We don't have them. So we can't do it. I guess. All right, I don't think we can get up there either, but it looks like if we had a crazy jump ability, we'd be able to grab something up there. Unless, okay, I guess not. All right. Well, that was a nice aside. Uh, so Lethal Company is a, uh, how do you describe it? We were spawned in a truck. Wait a second. Am I going the right way here? I don't think I am. All right, so we took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Anyway, we were spawned into kind of this truck. And you go to this computer panel and it's operating in a way that is very similar to 
old school DOS and you're typing in these DOS prompts to purchase equipment that you're going to need uh, for your run. Uh, flare gun. Man, I like both of the weapons that we have, so we're going to hold off. Increases auto critical chance by 5%. Let's do that. We'll get some health. And let's see what this guy's got. Upgrade Beluga Cannon. Yeah, let's do that. We've got plenty of those. Uh, let's do it one more time. Oh. Weapon is too high level. All right. Okay. It's a good problem to have. So you get your equipment. Uh, in this case, we ordered a couple of flashlights. And... You leave the truck, and you're out in this, I don't know, kind of a desolate, almost post-apocalyptic area where, you know, nothing's really around. It's kind of desert, almost. And there's a big warehouse in front of you uh, that you have to go in. But before you do that, you have to go get the equipment that you ordered. And you have a minute of in-game time to do that. In order to do that, you have to listen for the sound of the truck. And it's very ice cream truck type. Now you got to listen for the music and get closer to it. It also has a great positional sound system. So you're in there with your buddy, but if, if you get too far away from each other, you're not gonna be able to hear each other anymore. They do it really well. And so when you're looking for this truck, you know, it makes sense. Taking damage increases all damage by 30% and armor for six seconds. Every 0.5 seconds, your next weapon shot fires one homing projectile. Oh, man, that sounds neat. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, I think we're going this way. Perfect. Uh, I feel like we're building pretty good power level up. I saw the homing shot. That was pretty cool. So, long story short, we totally blew it on the truck. And so, all the gear that you ordered, you just lose it. You blow it all together. And, let's see, can we do it? Okay, so it's too high level. All right. All right, let's show them what you're made of. I think we're gonna have a boss encounter here. Oh yeah, Billy Boom. Oh, I'm standing on acid. Okay, I was like, why am I jumping like that? We'll just go right behind him then. So far so good against Billy Boom. And he's officially frozen. That's great to see. All right, when he shoots again, I'm gonna go ahead and fire off our shield. There we go. Warning, do not destroy. Oh. Oh, I bet if we kill him when he's in that phase, he blows up. That's interesting. All right. I think we did it. All right, that was outstanding. I'll take a B. B's get degrees. So we blew it on the equipment, right? And uh, so I say, my buddy, all right, let's go to this warehouse. We're supposed to go and gather this junk in order to meet our, our quota for delivering junk. Gorilla Bolter. 
Level 5, plus 40% damage, plus 50% range. Ex projectiles are explosive. Let's try that. Oh, yeah. That looks fun. Um, pick up rice cooker. Increases healing cells efficiency by 15%, or while you're on the ground, increases weapons damage by 20% against enemies below you. Huh. While you're on the ground, they gotta be below you. You know what? I'm gonna hold off on that one. You probably really want to smack them in the face considering how it ended the last time. Yeah, okay. Alright. Um, I have been to this zone before. It's difficult, and I think she was just rubbing that in my face. So, we get into this warehouse, and it gets creepy really fast. The other thing they do is, as soon as you warp into an area where an echo can happen, the voices have an echo to them. Uh, and it's it's really, really neat. Uh, we went down a hallway. This giant spider popped out. It freaked me out. It freaked my buddy out. Uh, our other buddy was spectating because he is not into playing the uh, horror-type games, but he'll watch them just fine. Uh, so, you know, it became clear very quickly that we had absolutely no way at all to defend ourselves. And so, we backed away from the spider. And then, a ghost lady appeared, but I was not able to see it. Only my buddy could see it. And he's warning me about it, and he's telling me, I don't know, man, she's there, and she's growling. She was growling at him, and he was concerned about this, uh, which, you know, that makes absolute sense. Reduces the number of shots required to trigger tempo shot to three. Oh, I do like that. Tiny punches projectiles ricochet on one enemy, dealing 50% damage. Oh, that would be interesting, too. Okay, um... We're gonna go with the ricochet thing. I like that. I bet that has the capability to get quite nasty and it's already homing, so I like that even more. So eventually we ended up in a, a dead end and the dog lady was there and she took out my buddy and it's kind of like Phasmophobia, if you've played that. It's, it's actually like Phasmophobia in a lot of ways. Um, you know, you start out in the truck, you order your supplies. If you get out there and you don't have the right supplies, you're just kind of screwed. And, you know, that's basically what happened to us. Uh, he died, and then the growling lady appeared to me suddenly and uh she was not happy to see me i was not happy to see her so the feelings were mutual um and i got killed i i totally got smacked and you know we we were at a point with the game where we said hey you know what i think this thing needs a little bit more time in the oven uh, we'll probably go back to it at some point. But we weren't able to do a whole lot, and that took away from some of the fun. This game, though, if you haven't heard of it, it's got 150,000 reviews on Steam, and it's overwhelmingly positive. It's it's quite, quite popular. I think if we would have given it just a little bit more time, we probably could have figured it out. But uh, I think we're just gonna we're going to come back to it at some point. I'm, I'm sure it's a it's a good fun game. Um, just want to give it a little bit more time to bake. You know what I mean? All right, let's go and take this thing out. Oh, I didn't even see that dude laying there. All right. Oh, goodness. All right. Well, uh, is it worth it? 
sure. Oh, shite. All right. Flat cannon. Or ionic palms. Uh, I'm liking the look of the flat cannon. Fires an explosive grenade. Let's do it. Yeah, that looks cool. So then we loaded up Raven's Watch from there and had some fun with it. You know, I got in there with Sun Wukong, the newest character that's been uh, made available. And I'm really trying to get good with Sun Wukong. He's very fragile. He's a very complicated character to play as, as well. Uh, he has kind of two states that he can switch in and out of, a high damage state and more of a defensive state. Uh, when you're in the defensive state, every successful hit gives you health back. Which is cool. But I haven't found it to be enough to keep you alive. So, we held our own for a little bit. It was my buddy's first time playing, so uh, we had our first run. What is this guy? Show Blunderbuzz. Uh, we don't we don't have it anymore, do we? Okay. Junk beam. Uh, that does seem interesting. Deals burn damage. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna trade that out. I think. Let's do that. Yeah, that looks great. And we're gonna go in here. Oh, that's too bad, because there's some health in there. All right. Well, then I guess we're just moving on. Oh, this beam has a really far reach. That's nice. I got to tell you, though, I really still like the snowball gun. I think that's still my favorite. Okay. Oh, these guys laying down on the ground keep getting me. So we got the win against the first nightmare. And that was nice. Knock out, folks. Knock out. Alright, we got 12 wrenches. Let's go to base camp and I'll show you what the meta progression options look like. Oh, that's right, we got another class. Cool, okay. So, let's go to... Is it the locker room? Well, I guess this is where we can pick different classes. So this is the one we've been playing as. And this one turns invisible, increases movement speed by 15% for 4 seconds, and refills all focus points and javelin charges. Then throws a piercing javelin, dealing 75 damage. Javelin has two charges, and picking up a javelin from the ground restores one back. That's kind of cool. We'll have to do a run with that one next time. And apparently, there are additional traits that can be opened uh, as you play. All right, let's go to the workshop. This is where you can spend your wrenches and... You know, these are the things that I've opened so far. I actually had wrenches from uh, playing the game when it was still out in early access that I was able to keep uh, when I started playing this updated version. So I think what I'm going to do is add some additional health to the repair robot. That'll be helpful. Folks, 
This is a game called RoboQuest. It is a roguelite FPS and it's fun. I feel like we've got a lot of good choices in this category, you know, Gunfire Reborn, Witchfire, Battle Shapers. They're all a lot of fun. This has been a great year for rogues in general. All right, we have gotten to the audience participation point in the video. Head down to the comments, please. Let me know what you thought of this one. Is this one you're going to dive into? It is on Game Pass if you're a Game Pass subscriber. Uh, you can jump into this one pretty easily on both console and PC, I believe. I'm playing on the PC version. And while you're down in the comments, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button. It helps uh, distribute the video to others to give this game more attention. And if you're new here, hang out with us more often. Hit that subscribe button. Hey, folks, let's do this again sometime. We'll get together. We'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because that's what we do every time. And we'll give away a video game at least once a week. We have a very large giveaway coming up to close out the year. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time.